Hey, it's Craig back with another Mortgage Minute. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you about 2-1 buy downs. Uh, now, if you've uh, done any research on home loans lately or just really gotten online anywhere, um, you've probably heard the phrase or heard the term 2-1 buy down. Seller is offering 2-1 buy down. And you may be thinking, what is that? How does that work? So I'm going to explain in general how it works, and then I'm going to show you an example of how a 2-1 buy down works. But for the most part, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, the way the, the program works is um, you get into a mortgage and that first year, your monthly payment is based like whatever the interest rate is minus 2%. So if the interest rate is 6.75, then your principal and interest payment will be based on 4.75, okay? And then the second year, uh, the monthly payment is based like the interest rate is 1% lower. So if, again, if your interest rate is 6.75%, then your monthly payment would be like your interest rate was 5.75%. That's why they call it a two slash one buy down. Okay. Now let's take a look at how this actually works. Okay. So we're going to use a $400,000 loan amount and we're going to assume an interest rate of 6.75%. The normal principal and interest payment would be $2,594.39. Now for just a quick second, let's ignore the, uh, let's ignore the, um, uh, taxes and insurance. Okay. This is just talking about principal and interest. Okay. So the first year, your monthly payment would actually be $2,086.59. Okay, so that's exactly 507.80 less than what the normal payment would be. Pretty cool, huh? The second year, your monthly, your principal interest payment would be $2,334.29. Okay, and that is $260.10 less than what the normal payment would be. And then, like I said, in year three, you would go back to your normal payment of $2,594.39. All right. Now, how does this work? Well, if the seller is paying the 2-1 buy down, uh, the way it works is this. At closing, there'll be a uh, debit to the seller on the settlement statement for $9,214.80. The lender is going to take that money and put it into an escrow account, a side account. And then for the first year, every month they're going to ask the borrower to send them $2,086.59. They're going to take $507.80 every month from that escrow account that was paid for by the seller, and they're going to put that with the borrower's money. Boom, the payment is made. That's what happens the first year. The second year, they're going to ask the borrower to send in $2,334.29, and they're going to take $260.10 from that side escrow account, put it with the payment, your second year payments are made. By the end of the second year, the money will have uh, basically been used from that side account. And that's when your payment goes back to the $2,594.39. Okay. So you may be saying like, okay, why would somebody do a 2-1 buy down? Like, you know, why does that make sense? Well, um, there's various reasons why, but one example would be it allows a buyer to get into a home and ease into that monthly payment. Right. So it allows them to um, to not have to pay twenty five hundred the first year and only have to pay two thousand eighty six dollars and fifty nine cents. Um, so say somebody is going to be getting a raise within the next couple of years and that might be helpful to them. Right. So right now their income is, is a certain amount. And so that two thousand eighty six dollar payment is more comfortable to them. Two years down the road, the twenty five hundred dollar payment, maybe it's not as big of a deal. So that's one reason why. Um, and the other reason why is just simply because the seller is offering to pay that. And so the buyer's like, hey, that's cool. If you want to pay it, then I, I will pay less per month each month. Right. So uh, th the other thing that people uh, are really kind of thinking about right now is um, the reality is, is more than likely interest rates will be lower sometime in the next couple of years because inflation will be coming down. And um, if that is the case, then people that are buying homes right now, they're probably going to be refinancing that loan within a couple of years anyway. So I'd say a lot of people doing 2 one buy downs right now probably will never end up seeing this monthly payment right here. OK, now there are pros and cons to doing the 2 one buy down. And if you're looking at a situation where the seller is not paying it and a lender's offering you a 2 one buy down for you to pay, Th that makes no sense whatsoever because you're basically going to take your own money, hand it to the lender and then ask for them to send it back to you. So that doesn't make sense. 
Um, and there are instances where uh, the seller is offering to pay a 2-1 buy down and it might make more sense for you to look at another option to use with that money, like pay closing costs or something like that. So here's what I would tell you. If you have questions, if, if you're curious about if this would be something good for you, I'd love to talk with you about your situation. Give me a call, 615-498-5626, and I appreciate you watching.